morning. Today we're going to talk about pets. You know, pets are all right, you know, as long as you keep them in their place. Dogs and cats, they're just animals and should be treated as such. You know, treating, people treat their pets like they're part of the family and that's just crazy. Are you kidding me? People treat Fluffy and Snoopy like they're, like they're people. And they're not. They're animals. It's crazy the way people treat their pets these days. I mean, cats and dogs are like, you know, what I'm trying to say is dogs and cats are, I mean, all right, I'll take you for a walk. Stop looking at me. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll take you for a walk. So everybody's got their own idea of what makes a pet. Now I might not know what a pet is, but I certainly know what a pet is not. Let's start with turtles and fish. These are not pets. These are household decorations like vases and porcelain figurines. What about mice and hamsters and other small creatures? These are rodents. Call an exterminator. Rodents do not belong in the house. And mice are rats, and rats carry the bubonic plague, and the plague killed a third of Europe. Case closed. What about the bigger rodents, like ferrets? Okay, ferrets are not actually rodents, but still. And you know they're in the same family as the otter, the badger, the weasel, and the wolverine? These are carnivorous animals. Four ferrets can eat up to 250 prairie dogs per year keep them out of the house. Birds? No, a pet isn't something you have to keep locked in a jail cell. And isn't it cruel to keep a flying creature grounded? Besides, birds are just little dinosaurs, and didn't those Jurassic Park films show us just what those little bastards can do? There's snakes and lizards and such, but those are reptiles. Those are more or less a conversation piece. Something that wannabe pet owners who don't want to have the responsibility of owning an actual pet purchase. Then of course then we, have, we have pigs and I guess pigs can be pets but to be honest when I think of a pig I just think of bacon, ribs, and pork chops. Do you know what makes a pet? There's two questions you have to ask. One, does it know its name? And two, if you let it run free outside, does it return home? If it doesn't fit into those two categories, what you have is not a pet. Pets? Yeah, I got pets. I got three dogs. Really a non-issue though, I mean, you would hardly even know we had dogs. Unless, of course, I'm in the basement filming shows for Jeff where the car exited I was doing the backstroke all the way to shore laughing the whole way dogs do to do to do three two one or if the mailman shows up. Um, so I read a bunch of them. Um, not very many good ones, and the mailman is here. Yeah, and my biggest dog ran right into my knee, blew it out, and I had to have surgery. Brian from Milwaukee, and I'm going with, you know, pets is the subject this week. And I was thinking, uh, it's kind of nice to be a pet. You just sit, lay down, do nothing. 
eat, poop, pee, sleep, eat, poop, pee, sleep, sleep, more sleep, eat, pee, get rubbed on, get treat, get all good stuff and don't have to do anything. Just be cute. See my dog? She's just laying there. She don't move. She's a spoiled brat. But she's my spoiled brat. So I think uh, if I had a choice, I would like to come back as a dog. Right, Chloe? Coco. You good girl. Hello there. Say hello. Hey. I'm Rich, and this is... Oferte. Oferte. He's speaking Igpe Atenly. EK, eBay, Airful K. And we're talking about pets today. You have pets, don't you? Yeah. What kind of pets do you got? Guinea pigs. And? Guinea pigs fish. and and a fish, yep. And, and how how did you get guinea pigs and a fish? I spent my money. You spent your money, but what did you do to deserve the guinea pigs and the fish? Cleaning my bedroom. Yes, thank you. He cleaned his bedroom. See now, when I was growing up, I always heard people talking about let's get the kid a pet in order to teach the kid responsibility. But when it came time for me to worry about getting Monster Boy, Oferte, a pet, and Urache, his sister, a pet, we thought rather than getting a pet to teach them responsibility, how about they have responsibility, they demonstrate responsibility before they get a pet. So he had to keep your room clean for how long? Three months. <sighs> A month and then he got a fish and then he had to keep it cleaner for longer and then he finally spent his own money that he got um, for his guinea pigs that he rescued and Chira spent her own money on her guinea pigs as well we have four guinea pigs ay caramba anyway um, I think pets are great even though these guys are too little to take care of their pets fully by themselves um, it's kind of a neat little family bonding thing and we, we all take turns doing different activities to take care of the pets right yeah, anyway, that's our thoughts on pets for this week. We will see you later. Say goodbye. Goodbye. He will find you and he will kill you. It's that age-old question, isn't it? Are you a cat or a dog person? If you can't decide, I think I can help. Dogs are better, plain and simple. Dogs are just happy, you know? They're happy to see you, happy to play with you, happy to go for a walk, happy to get a treat. And most of all, dogs are the happiest when they get a full pound of uncooked bacon. At least my dogs are. Dogs are just thrilled to be alive. Cats, on the other hand, always look like they're planning something. It's something in their eyes, like they're weighing the pros and cons of murdering their owner, you know? Even when they're on your lap and they're purring and you're petting them under the chin, it doesn't seem like they're really enjoying it. It seems like it's all, I don't know, part of the master plan. Maybe that's it. Dogs, see, dogs live in the moment. They're just looking for a reason to be happy. And when there's nothing to be happy about, well, then they just sit and stare and wait and sit and stare and wait. Cats, on the other hand, are never truly happy. In fact, I think they look at somebody who's having too much fun as some sort of mental case. At least that's the way my cats look at me. Of course, it's all changing now. It's no longer just cats and dogs. Pigs are becoming pets. Pigs! You know, when I think about it, pigs might be the ultimate pet. I mean, as long as they're fun and playful, great, but if they ever get to be too much of a hassle or you get tired of them, free pork chops and bacon. Chuck Wagon. <laughs>
instant dinner for dogs. Just the right helpings of what dogs like best and need most. Tender, juicy chunks, golden nuggets, rich with vitamins and minerals, and rich, savory broth, quick dry. Chuck Wagon, next to you, what he likes best and needs most. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Before I go, I just wanted to stress that everything I was saying about what is and what isn't a pet was just for fun. A pet is whatever you want it to be, whatever gives you comfort and joy, whatever helps you relax or gives you pleasure. Topher, you have guinea pigs, fantastic. I was just kidding. Anyway, that's the show for today. Thank you, Brian and Willie and Rich and Topher. Thank you so much for being on the show. We'll be back next week or the week after, depending on how things go. And our subject's going to be things you miss from childhood or from your past. Is there something in, in the world that's changed and you find it sad that it changed? You know? Um, I, I, I have a bunch of these things. I miss full-size G.I. Joe dolls. But that's just me. We'll talk more about it next week. If you've got something from your past that you thought was great, that you had an emotional attachment to, and it doesn't exist anymore, share it with me next week. Or if you don't live in the past and you just live in the present, I'd like to hear about that too. Anyway, this is the Coffee and Beer Show. I'd like to thank everybody for watching, everybody for contributing. We could use more clips from people. I know you all have video cameras out there. Let's get them going. Every cell phone shoots video. And uh, this is Jeff saying goodbye until next time. <laughs>